Fishing is a proud industry woven into the fabric of Nova Scotia, but it's also an industry that has faced far too much tragedy. Almost half of fishing deaths in Canada occur off our own shores. Since 2007, 35 people have died working in Nova Scotia's commercial fisheries. Fishermen have to go to sea to make a living, but they have to keep living to go to sea. What's the point of your job if you're not gonna come home? The industry is resilient. It has emerged repeatedly as the mainstay of Nova Scotia's rural and coastal communities. It's a way of life. It has a future. And that future needs to be built on safety. A safer fishing industry is essential if Nova Scotia is to become Canada's safest place to work. While safety has long been a priority for some, leaving old habits behind and making safety the priority is a change more and more fishermen welcome. If anybody wants to come fishing on my boat, you have to wear a PFD. End of story. Grassroots initiatives to promote fishing safety and awareness started back in 2012 when a fishing safety working group was formed by the Nova Scotia Fisheries Sector Council, the Fisheries Safety Association of Nova Scotia, the Workers' Compensation Board, and the Department of Labor and Advanced Education. Their work, along with the safety focus of some fishermen from across the province, provided a strong foundation for the creation of the Safe at Sea Alliance. This is a broad group of industry, government, safety organizations, family members and community leaders who all believe that fishing can be safer and are working to grow the safety shift that has started to emerge. Over the past year and a half, they have led conversations all over the province, at association meetings, in coffee shops, on wharves, and on fishing boats. All these discussions talking about what might be different those ideas are Nova Scotia's plan for fishing safety now. Fishermen talked about the need for better awareness to help them understand operating practices, regulations, and to continue to learn from each other. They talked about the need for a code of practice that would incorporate both Transport Canada and OHS requirements. Time and time again, fishermen asked for real safety, not just paper safety, more man overboard drills, more research on better safety gear, and continued real world improvements. Taking another look at the way we do things today through a safety lens also became apparent. Weather forecasts, fisheries management practices, and the way different organizations work together all can be improved to ensure safety is a priority. There are many mentions of the need for improvements in regulations and enforcement the importance of education, and the desire for more coordinated training between enforcement officers. And when incidents do occur, fishermen said we must learn from them through sharing the findings of investigations, examining root causes, and providing case studies. These ideas are captured in our plan, Fishing Safety Now. It is recommendations to change the culture of the industry to one where safety is first. Overall, the plan represents the start of a new day in Nova Scotia's fishing industry when it comes to workplace safety. It was developed by industry, for industry, and industry will be in the lead as it is implemented. That implementation will be guided by principles of transparency, accountability, collaboration, and fairness. The bottom line is that fishermen won't stop talking about fishing safety. Fishing Safety Now ensures that. <laughs>